In Andreas Widmer's opinion, this is a man who was simply worn down and now has the weight of dealing with the public demands of his job finally lifted. When you're an introvert, you lose energy by being with other people. Did and he lose is, energy? I think he lost energy by being with people. For two years in the late 80s, Widmer was a member of the elite Swiss Guards, the men who've protected the Holy Father for more than five centuries. He guarded John Paul II, but also knew Benedict when Benedict was Joseph Ratzinger, a rising cardinal. These are two really incredibly different men. Yeah. John Paul was somebody co who could really work with a huge crowd and really get to, uh, you know, with his exper experience in, in, in theater and in, in, philosophy, in, in poetry and everything, he could really reach people like that. Benedict is brilliant at one-on-one -on -one and small group interaction. Widmer, an author who now teaches at Catholic University, says as a Swiss guard, you never spoke to the Pope or a Cardinal unless he addressed you first. But he says he and Benedict would chat when Benedict was waiting to see Pope John Paul completely open like I can talk to you. What was he like to talk to? Very, uh, very other, other directed. So he would, say, he would ask me what my interests were and how I felt and, and how I saw things. And with a sense of humor, like when Benedict offered to sign Widmer's copy of a book Benedict had written, which Widmer says was pretty thick. And when I gave it to him, he says, so you're really reading this? And I said, well, I'm trying. And he says, well, it helps to do it in small in small steps. But he also had a personal crisis as a guard, spending his first Christmas away from home. It was John Paul, he says, who helped him through that. And I sort of had a meltdown. And right at that moment, he comes out of his apartment. And he noticed, and he reached out to me, and he thanked me for being there, and he gave me courage. What were you doing? Were you crying? Or yeah. were you, you were. Oh, well, I stopped crying when he showed, <laughs> when he showed up, but he noticed, my, he noticed my red eyes. As for what's to come, Widmer says the top job isn't what we think. The Pope is the end of your, uh, end of your life. You have to give up all the privacy. You're basically locked in. You can't go where you want to go. Everything is, is you, you lose your friends, you lose your family. The, he, you, you're a prisoner. Not one cardinal wants to be pope. He didn't want to be pope? No way. He wanted to go back home and write books. They're walking into the Sistine Chapel like this. Don't make eye contact. Really? <laughs> yeah. uh, nobody wants to be pope.